Today we're going to talk about the correct way to profile your concrete right so that your, when your garage door comes down and hits the floor, water won't weep into your garage. Now it's in, very important that you talk with your concrete finishers to make sure they understand that it's their job to hit the angle right. Now I'm going to be demonstrating on this door the correct way to get that angle right. So let's look at the door. This door opening was profiled absolutely perfect. And the reason why, the elevation of the interior slab, just opposed to out here, has a pretty strong slope. But what's important is from here to here, it's about a half inch slope from where the door sits to here. Now you can see how the water has stopped right here. It can't go uphill. You can make your concrete flat. What you don't want to do is have this elevation of this concrete go flat out and then come down. And then, to complicate problems, they'll make the concrete butt up against it or even come inbound. That's almost a formula. It is a formula for water coming in because that rubber on the bottom of the door will not hold back that wave of water. I brought the door down, the rubber's right here, to show you, because it exaggerates with the shadows, the, the angle is right here. You can see it a lot better on this video. Now, you can have the door a quarter inch off the floor, and it can be raining monsoons outside. Water will not come in this crack. And a lot of people make this a multifunction room where they don't want to have water coming in. So it's important that you profile your concrete right so you have a nice dry room.